Hi, my name is Bree Clark and I'm a software expert. And today I'm going to show you how to change the cursor in Microsoft Excel. Now, changing the cursor in Excel is all about where you put it and what you're trying to do. Now, right now, as I move my cursor around, it's a large white plus sign. This is the cursor that I use to select. So if I click and hold and drag, that's used for selection. So I could click here in A2 and hold and drag down to select all the way through F8. Another cursor you can get is by positioning your pointer over the edge of a selected cell. And notice how it turns to a four-pointed arrow. Now that's used for moving cells. So if I click on this quarterly sales by region cell and then move my pointer over the edge so I get the, the four lines with the arrows, I can click, hold, and drag to move that cell somewhere else on the page. Okay, so I'll just uh, move that back with the same pointer. And the final one that you're going to see a lot of the time is this little one here, this black plus sign, this small black plus sign. And when you click, hold, and drag with that, that's actually going to fill whatever's in the cell you're dragging from down into the next cell. So you can see that actually pulled quarterly sales by region. And if I grab it again and fill it all the way down, it's going to copy that all the way down. I'm just going to press Control Z a couple times to undo that. So we have the white plus sign, the four pointed arrow, and the autofill handle, the black plus sign. My name is Bree Clark. I'm a software expert, and I just showed you how to change your cursor in Excel.